So I'm back with another Goatee Big Fish deck, and I've already made a guide on this deck, so if you're interested in learning all the combos, then you can find a link at the end of the video or in the description. So now I'll show you guys one new combo that wasn't in the original guide. So normally the combo involves using Pacey's to summon Enoch from the hand. But if you've already used up Pacey's effect to summon a fish from the hand, then you can link Pacey's and Marantz's Coral Anemone into Abyss Keeper. Then you can summon Enoch to a zone Abyss Keeper points to. Then from there you can continue the combo as usual. So we're going to jump straight into our first replay. We'll activate Puri Reese map and they respond with Ash Blossom. We'll negate it with Call by the Grave. We're going to use Puri Reese map to search for Tuna. We know they don't have Ash Blossom, so we can safely normal summon our Tuna. Search for the Leaf Fish to send Coelacanth to the graveyard. And we'll special summon Coelacanth from the graveyard with our Dugaris. We'll discard one card with Coelacanth to summon four fish from the deck, and we'll synchro summon it to Ravenous Croco Dragon. We'll draw one card. We'll go into our Coral Dragon, and then summon White Aura Monoceros. Chaining the Coral Dragon in the graveyard to draw a card, special summoning the Coelacanth, and then we'll discard two cards to destroy the Dagaris. Linking our two water monsters into Marinsa's Coral Anemone so we can make room on the field. We'll then banish the leaf fish to shuffle fish back into the deck and draw a card. We'll activate Coelacanth once more. We'll then special summon Arian Post, banishing a Snopios from the deck. And then we'll Synchro Summon into Edmancipator Rising Dragite. We'll use Arian Post to banish Croco Dragon and add Enoch to the hand. We use Anemone to summon Pacey's from the graveyard. Activating its effect to special summon Enoch from the hand. Enoch will special summon the banished tuner. And then Enoch will banish itself so we can search for the Go Trap card. Then we'll use our remaining monsters to go into an Ice Shade Jameer. Now we can special summon our Snopios, banishing two fish from the graveyard. And then we can banish Shift. And now we'll have more than enough monsters banished to activate Goatee Cosmos first and second effect. So when we flip over the Goatee Cosmos, our fish cannot be destroyed by battle, and they cannot be negated on the field this turn. So because your opponent won't be able to negate or remove our fish very easily, we can sit and wait until our opponent has used up as many resources as possible, then we can hit them where it hurts the most. Since your fish cannot be destroyed in battle, it would be better to just let them attack skipping their battle phase. So the opponent destroys Dragite, and now they're going to activate the Brand Infusion in the main phase too. Then we're going to use Jameer to banish the Branded Fusion spell. That card is only limited to one, so now we don't have to worry about it for the rest of the game. And with Jameer's effect activated, we won't have to worry about Mirror Jade. So the opponent summons a Preta Plant. So they can use Preta Plant to change the level of our fish. So we're going to chain our Goatee Tuner to Preta Plant, then flip over the Goatee Cosmos. We want to summon Deep Beyond before Preta Plant resolves since Preta Plant will change the level of Pacey's to level 1. We'll chain Snopios, add it to our hand. Banishing a Pacey's from the graveyard to add Snopios to the hand. Then Deep Beyond banishes the entire field. So now the opponent has no cards on the field or hand and they're trying to end their turn so we're going to summon Snopios. If the opponent continued to play, we could still use Snopios to banish Askan and Zep from the graveyard, so then we can summon a second Deep Beyond. So on our turn, we're going to go ahead and get Deep Beyond back with 8500 attack. We'll special summon our Shift. And then we'll get our other Goatee Tuner. And because we banished a Goatee Exeep in the last turn, we can activate its effect to set the Goatee Cosmos on the field. And the downside to using Dagaris is that we do have to skip our main phase one. And so far it hasn't been a problem, I can usually just OTK with Deep Beyond. We'll banish the Pacey's from the graveyard, add Snopios to the hand. Using Askan and the Shift, we'll Synchro Summon into a Sword Soul Changing. I'll use Changing to banish the Drew Swarm and a card from the graveyard. Then banish the Shift from the graveyard. And then use Leaf Fish to shuffle some fish back into the deck. And pass a turn to the opponent. So it's not looking good for the opponent here. We're going to get both of our tuners. And the opponent's going to scoop. 
So now we're gonna skip the combo. It's the opponent's turn and they're playing Pendulum Magician. We'll activate Jameer in response to their monster activation effect, banishing it, and then we can activate Goatee Cosmos. We use Dragite to negate their spell. So now we're just giving the opponent the illusion that they can break this board, when in fact there's absolutely nothing they can do. At any point, we can summon Deep Beyond and wipe the board and it's game over. So the opponent activates a Pendulum that can Fusion Summon, so we're going to summon our Askan. We use Askan to target Abyss Keeper and their Pendulum Monster. Adding Snopios to the hand, Askan resolves banishing both monsters. The opponent then goes into the battle phase and that shift isn't going anywhere, buddy. So this time we're going to special summon Coelacanth from the hand with Abyss Keeper. And we want the opponent to summon Kaleido Heart, then we can use Coelacanth to negate that targeting effect. So the opponent is special summoned a Telemint Rhino Heart. Now they're going to summon Telemint Kaleido Heart, targeting Coelacanth to shuffle it into the deck. We'll activate the effect of Coelacanth, tributing one fish to negate the effect that targeted it. The opponent's going to shuffle our shift back into the deck, then summon Kaleido Heart. They are all out of tier limit monsters to fusion summon with. We'll negate Ash Blossom with Cross Out Designator. And now we can do our full combo. If we manage to do our combo uninterrupted, then it's over for the opponent. Coral Dragon's going to destroy the Kaleido Heart. And we're going to fast forward here because the opponent does end up scooping before we can finish our combo. We don't really have a good matchup at all against Purely going second. We want to get rid of Nior before we commit to summoning Arian Post. We'll special summon a Keeper, summoning Leaf Fish from the hand to send a ship to the graveyard. So we're going to target one fish and the opponent's card, and both of them will be banished. And just like Askan, a Keeper just needs to target in order to banish the card. We'll activate Deepest Depths, banishing a fish from the graveyard, and the opponent responds with Ash Blossom. Now we can normal summon Pacey to special summon a Tuna from the hand, then special summon Leaf Fish. On the opponent's turn, we can special summon our Goatee Tuner, and we'll get the second Tuner back. We'll sink or summon into Arian Post. They try to negate Arian Post, but we're going to go ahead and Synchro Summon into an Askan. So here's a misplay. Arian Post banishes Zep, and Zep special summons on Chain Link 1. Askan banishes itself on Chain Link 2. So we can't Synchro Summon with Zep because there's no monsters on the field. The right play in this scenario would be to use Arian Post to banish Snopios, and then use Arian Post's graveyard effect to add Zep to the hand. So the opponent's going to be able to combo uninterrupted, and we weren't able to banish their field. So they move our monster into attack position with zero attack, and we only have 3,000 life points left. And then they increase the attack of their monster to 3,100, which is enough to finish us off. So in this replay, we're going to normal summon Leaf Fish, special summon the Abyss Shark, adding an Egg Zeep to the hand. The opponent responds with a Droll and Lockbird. We're going to special summon Abyss Keeper, and then use it to summon Coelacanth from the hand. And this time we're only going to do one loop. We'll special summon Ice Jade Jameer, banishing the ship from the graveyard to special summon Egg Zeep from the hand, and then Synchro Summon into Arian Post, banishing Snopios to add it to our hand. And then with Arian Post and Zep, we can Synchro Summon into Dragite. Then we'll summon Snopios from the hand. So this time we weren't able to get Goatee Cosmos from the deck to the hand. But our end board is still looking pretty strong. So the opponent summons a Fenrir, goes into the battle phase. We're going to respond to Fenrir's activation with Jameer, preventing them from banishing our monsters face down. But we won't use Jameer to banish the Fenrir. This will lock them from summoning more Kashira monsters. Having Jameer in the graveyard is great for us because we are going to banish the entire field. So now we're going to add Snopios to the hand and then wipe the board with Deep Beyond. And it looks like the opponent's all out of juice. So we're going to banish our Askan and Zap. 
special summoning both of those and banish a shift from the graveyard so we can summon another deep beyond to banish the field again and on the standby phase we'll special summon both deep beyonds and two tuners and we're not going to bother summoning a fifth monster in case they have a nibiru we'll just jump straight into the battle phase and with that it is game so looking at the deck list there's only one major change compared to the last time I had this deck, and that is using Instant Contact and running three Ice Barriers. So the advantage of using Instant Contact is you can use it to summon Neospatian Dolphin, which can discard a card from your hand as a cost. You can use it to discard the Ice Barrier Trap card, so then we can banish the Ice Barrier from the graveyard to add a level 5 or higher Water Monster to our hand. Using Instant Contact to search for Coelacanth this way isn't the most consistent way compared to something like Small World, but it was something that I was testing in the ladder and it did end up working out for me this season. The deck list in the description doesn't have a crossout designator. I recommend having it in the deck to negate Maxi and Ash Blossom and to banish your tuners. So I kept track of 20 games, 14 out of 20 games were won, with 6 games lost, for a win rate of 70%. I had a 100% win rate going first. The combo is very consistent, so if you're able to pull off a full combo with Goatee Cosmos, Jameer Dragite, 2 Tuners, and Snopios, then it's just pretty much an instant win. Going second is where the deck is going to struggle, especially against a deck like Purely. You could add 1 or 2 board breakers like Game of Seal to the deck, but you'll also be fine without it. Relying on drawing the out in a best of one format is not going to dramatically increase your win rate. And that's all I have for now, so I'll see you guys next time.